Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Galenzo and I'm Development Engineer here at Unbike Wheels. And today I'm going to talk about CFD, what it is and how we're using it to develop faster bike wheels. So CFD, that stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. And most of you will know that it's essentially a virtualised wind tunnel. You may be asking why is CFD useful? Well, conventional aerodynamic development has been achieved through an iterative approach of wind tunnel testing. But this is both time consuming and cost ineffective because it requires a number of physical profiles to be manufactured in order to test each variation. This is a great example why CFD is so valuable. Once a validated CFD model is developed, it is possible to run multiple profiles electronically. Not only does this allow us to identify the less area shapes, we can use the visualization tools within CFD to analyze why these profiles are less aerodynamic. The main benefit of this is that we can reduce the time and resources at this stage of development. Therefore, we can achieve better results faster for you. Before we run our CFD simulation, we must prepare the virtualized wind tunnel. Firstly, we must create a three-dimensional grid called a mesh, which is represented by a regular set of cells on the surface. As we move inside the wind tunnel, we can see that the mesh is split up into three regions of interest. The far field mesh is coarse because this is where less significant flow happens. However, we create a high density of cells in a region just behind the wheel called the wake to ensure we capture the flow of the wheel. We also need to create a very high density of cells on the rim and tyre surface. This is so that we can accurately represent the geometry that we're inputting into the simulation. We grow very uniform layers of cells off the surface of the geometry. These are known as boundary layers and are used to capture the flow separation and flow structures such as vortices. The reason why we have a higher density of cells surrounding the wheel is because inside these cells is where the mathematical equations are calculated and approximated. The final step is to apply a number of conditions to the model to replicate the wind tunnel. These are the boundary conditions and the initial conditions such as inlet wind velocity and the rotational aspect of the wheel. We are at the stage in our project where we have a 12 million cell size mesh and we are running steady state analysis with turbulence modelling. Over the coming months, we'd like to increase our mesh size and also consider transient analysis. As you can see, CFD gives us a number of additional techniques which wind tunnel testing doesn't to analyse our rim profiles. This means in the future we can design faster and more efficient aerodynamic wheels to benefit our riders. Thank you for listening and I hope you've enjoyed hearing about how we at Hunt are using CFD to develop faster wheels. Keep a lookout in the future for our aerodynamicist projects where we'll be using the CFD in practice. All the best and stay safe.